Hello guys. In the previous lesson, we will we talked about how to we create a system dynamics modeling by using the transfer function and state space representation. And uh, we discuss about the advantage of uh, these things in order to to the compare of these things. And so if we have a simple system and then we can use the transfer function method and if we have the many variable state variable in our system and then we should use the state space representation in order to create a first order dynamic of this system because it's a, it has a advantage of our usage purpose and so in this lesson we need to talk about or we need to discuss the property of the control theory especially in the theoretical one and the practical one <coughs> and so in order to create an example of our study for example we have the mass parameter in here with the x direction in this time and so we have assumed that the actuator mechanism in here which is called the actuator okay and so we can apply the force value by driving this actuator parameter and then <coughs> In order to model these things in control theory, especially in the transfer function method. And so we should get a title in here in TF mode. We should describe the whole the notation of these things. Something like that. We have the general purposes plant modeling techniques related to this uh, dynamic equation. And so if we have the any disturbance parameter or the any damping ratio or k position without this using things and so we can write it down f equal to mx dot dot in the absence of the spring factor or the damping ratio and so if we apply the force in the direction of x and then we get the position deflection and so if we apply the inverse direction of the f and so the x is decreased with the relation of the f force in here okay and then <coughs> in the transfer function mode we have the output variable as the position value okay position in our notation and so in order to activate this system what we can use in this notation this is called the force variable okay we should apply the system with the force and then we get the position deflection in our system but without the dependence of the time okay and so if we track the reference position in our system like the x ref s is given in our system and so how can we select or how can we calculate uh, this force value in the right order the main question of the control theory is how can we select select proper force or in general means the input variable and then if we add the sum transfer function blocks in here as the cs which means that it is the controller approach but it's dependent on the time or it's dependent of the frequency mode and then we can condition this plant modeling in order to track the excess with the x ref variable and <coughs> in real life we can use it the actuator modeling which we obtain the whole information from the data sheet values okay and so how can we drive these things by using the electrical circuits okay if we use the electrical circuits and then we can drive this system with the proper of the x ref position and the xs position okay and so in 
practical life or the in real life the this electrical circuit is considered as the controller design approach and so in a result we have if we have the electrical circuit design and then we have the controller perspectives okay and so if we have the mechanical one example is given in here but the <coughs> system dynamics includes the many system hydraulic one heat one electrical one and uh, this pattern does not change in application of these kind of systems okay and so if we have the another example of these things and then we can draw the hydraulic system approach in here hydraulic approach with the system of we have the any pump circulation in here and so we have the tank variable at this time with the position of x and so this is our pump and so if you drive the pump with the usage of the electrical circuits and then we can drive the pump into the proper or desired notation and so this is our controller in here okay and so in order to create a proper dynamics and so we have the pump data sheet value in general means the in the real life application the product production of this pump or the, the manufacturer gives us the flow rate and delta p value okay as a pressure difference and so we have this kind of information but in order to drive the this pump equation and then we should apply the voltage value in here and so the data sheet also includes the this kind of graphs like the voltage value and q value okay as a linear or something like that okay and so if we create a dynamic modeling relates to the hydraulic one and then we can easily write it down as the gs for example it's an arbitrary value s plus one okay this is our transfer function method and then uh, one and one is an arbitrary number you can change it down but the x position does not change in here okay and so we have the controller perspectives in here cs and so we have the x reference position which relates to the level of the liquid okay and so how can we create a controller system design in our notation in the first place we should obtain the this kind of system xs must be equal to the x ref s because if these two things are equal to each other and then the desired trajectory is can be tracked by using this controller perspective and so if we have the equal value of the x ref and x and then the system is controlled okay and so if we're using this kind of information in here and then we can write it down as the x ref s times one cs we don't know it but we can calculate it okay times one s plus one this is our gs or plant equation and so this must be equal to the excess value okay and so if the excess is equal to the x ref s and how can we obtain it and so if we select the cs value is equal to s plus one and then we can obtain the x ref s is equal to the x s and so which we call it as the open control or open loop control in control terminology okay 
And so we don't have the, any sensor in here, uh, the feedback by feedback in the position of this the controller perspective. But if we choose or if we design the S plus one by using the electrical circuit based on the capacitance value or resistance value or inductance value, and then we can control it the position of this X by using these things. Okay, and so the voltage value and the, this value can be calculated to create this kind of dynamics and so this is a random number uh, but if you have the correct position of these things and you can look at the data sheet value and so the data sheet can be used to create this dynamic of uh, position okay and so the cs can be calculated by using these things and then we can call it the open loop control perspectives okay and in the another matter, uh, this is the disadvantage method of this controlling these things, okay? Because we don't have the, any feedback variable in here. And so if we run this pump, and so the X is goes to the anywhere. But we cannot be sure about that the X is the right position. And so how can we be sure about that the X is in the right position? with the xref value and so we need to use the sensor application or in the theoretical controller approach we should use the feedback signal okay in the next session we will talk about how to we create a feedback control loop and as we call it the closed loop control in our system dynamics modeling okay